After Lin Fan returned to Jiangbei University, he went straight to room 305 of the training building. At this moment, the twins, Xia Bing and Xia Xue, were seriously designing a model in front of the computers. When they caught sight of Lin Fan, their eyes glowed with excitement. Then, they each took out a bottle of energy drink from their backpacks and handed them to Lin Fan. Thank you, Lin Fan said. He casually opened the two bottles of energy drinks and took a sip from both. When Xia Bing and Xia Xue saw this, the joy on their faces intensified, and a pair of cute little dimples appeared indistinctly. At this moment, Professor Zhang Yong walked in. When he saw Lin Fan, he immediately shouted, Lin Fan, you're finally here. When Lin Fan heard this, he could not help but rub his nose. Last Saturday, Zhang Yong had been sending him messages, asking him to come early for the training. However, on Saturday, Xinyue Hotel auctioned off a hundred-year-old ginseng. The hundred-year-old ginseng could help Lin Tao's illness. Of course, Lin Fan had to go. Lin Fan did not return to Jiangbei until Sunday night. On Monday, it was his girlfriend Qin Yuxuan's birthday. Naturally, Lin Fan had to go to Modu to celebrate. After all that, Lin Fan finally had the time to come to the training room. Zhang Yong said helplessly, Originally, I wanted to use these few days to train you. However, the competition is tomorrow. If I train you now, it'll affect your mental state for tomorrow's competition. Zhang Yong sighed and said, I'll talk about the rules again. The competition will last for 72 hours. The difficulty and intensity are very high, especially for Lin Fan. He needs to calculate, write his thesis, and defend his thesis. It's a heavy task, but you must not panic or be nervous. Just be steady. When Zhang Yong first saw the mathematical models of Lin Fan, Xia Bing, and Xia Xue, he was extremely excited. He immediately felt that Jiangbei University had a chance to win the national prize or even the Higher Education Cup this year. However, now, Zhang Yong had no confidence at all. As a professor, Zhang Yong knew very well that students who were busy with other things would have their results affected. He just hoped that Lin Fan and the rest could get the provincial award. The next day, the weather was clear. The bright morning sun rose into the sky like a giant dragon. Many students from the mathematics and computer science departments of Jiangbei University were walking toward the spacious lecture theater. Today, no, for the next three days, they would be participating in the difficult national mathematical modeling competition. Counselor Sun Yaodong stood in the corridor far away and silently watched this scene. At this time, a middle-aged teacher in his 30s or 40s said, Teacher Sun, you got so many students to sign up for the competition, but it's useless if you only have quantity but not quality. That's not necessarily true, Sun Yaodong said. Maybe a few of them will win the provincial prize. The middle-aged teacher shook his head with a smile. Clearly, he did not take these words to heart. In the lecture hall, Zhang Jinbao looked at the tables that were two meters away from each other. He sighed and said, It's over now. I can't copy even if I want to. On the side, the students from the computer science and mathematics departments were speechless. So, you're participating in the national mathematical modeling competition with the intention of plagiarism? Zhang Jinbao looked at Song Yi, who was sitting not far away, and muttered, There's someone to keep me company anyway, so it's fine. After he finished speaking, Zhang Jinbao opened the bottle of Coke and took a big gulp, his face full of enjoyment. At this time, Song Yi also looked around. When he saw Zhang Jinbao, he was obviously relieved. The poor students could accompany together and would also rank bottom together. Lin Fan sat on the chair calmly, looking extremely relaxed. It was like he was not here to participate in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition, but to drink tea. Xia Bing, Xia Xue, don't be nervous. It's just a competition. Relax, Lin Fan said. Xia Bing and Xia Xue nodded repeatedly. If they were participating in the competition with someone else, they would be as relaxed as Lin Fan. However, they were on the same team as Lin Fan for the competition. They could not help but feel nervous. That was because Xia Bing and Xia Xue had decided in their hearts that they would definitely do their best for Lin Fan and not drag him down. Ding, ding. At this moment, a crisp bell sound rang throughout the lecture hall. Then, three professors, all over the age of 40, slowly walked in. Among them, the professor with white sideburns said, 
other than team members who are allowed to discuss in low voices, no one else is allowed to whisper to each other. Violators will be disqualified. The National Mathematical Modeling Competition begins now. Everyone, please look in front of you. As the old professor finished speaking, three questions appeared on the projector in the lecture hall and on the computers in front of everyone. 1. Design a house. 2. Design a drainage system. 3. Design a parking lot. Please choose one of the three questions to answer. After seeing these three questions, the students were all dumbfounded. Design a house? A drainage system? A parking lot? Should these not be things that the architectural department should do? This required drawing, designing, and so on, which was indeed a little complicated. However, what did this have to do with the National Mathematical Modeling Competition? Was the competition not about mathematical calculations? Which part of this involved mathematics? The students were stunned for a moment, and after a while, they began to discuss in low voices. Which question should we choose? A short student from the computer science department asked. The parking lot. It seems to be simpler. A mathematics student of medium build said hesitantly. Zhang Jinbao denied it and said, Of course, it's the drainage system. We can just draw a few ditches. The few of them looked at each other for a while before hesitantly saying, Then let's design the drainage system. Lin Fan casually glanced at the three questions and immediately had an idea in his mind. Xia Bing, Xia Shui, which question do you want to do? Lin Fan asked. Xia Bing and Xia Shui did not say anything. They just looked at Lin Fan quietly. It was obvious that they were asking him to choose the question. All right, I'll choose then. Lin Fan nodded. He touched his chin and muttered, Many cities are prone to water accumulation during heavy rain. It's troublesome to design a drainage system. However, it's indeed useful. Let's choose the second question, which is to design a drainage system. Xiaobing and Xia Xue did not have any reaction at all and just nodded repeatedly. At this moment, a crisp notification rang out in Lin Fan's mind. Ding, you've triggered a hidden mission. Win the national prize in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition. Reward, five silver red packets. Lin Fan's lips curled up. Originally, Lin Fan had only planned to answer the question casually. At this moment, he decided to do it well. Lin Fan's pen flew as he quickly wrote down a series of complicated calculations on the white sheet of paper. Then, he told the requirements and data to Xia Bing and Xia Xue. Instantly, Lin Fan's team began to make a series of rhythmic clicking sounds. As time passed, the prototype of a drainage system gradually appeared on Xia Bing's and Xia Xue's computers. Soon, it was noon. Many people directly bought their meals to eat at the entrance of the lecture hall. After they finished eating in a hurry, they continued to solve the questions and compete. It could not be helped. The mathematical modeling workload was too heavy. If they did not hurry, they might not be able to complete the task within three days. However, it was completely different with Lin Fan. After eating lunch with Xia Bing and Xia Xue, he leisurely returned to the empty dormitory and prepared to take an afternoon nap. At this moment, his phone vibrated slightly. 12 p.m. The red packets appeared. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 6 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you have received 20 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 3 yuan. Today, Lin Fan received a total of 25,009 yuan. Then, he looked at the 818 red packets on the screen. These were the red packets he received after spending 8.188 million yuan on a house in Iku City yesterday. Initially, Lin Fan had planned to collect 1,000 red packets and open them all at once. Now, he was hesitating. Forget it, let's open them, he muttered. Ding, congratulations, you've received 3,000 yuan. Ding, congratulations, you've received 2 yuan. Ding, congratulations, you've gained professional swimming experience. With excellent swimming skills, you can display extraordinary charm in the water. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've obtained professional-level aircraft piloting skills. Even if it's a plane, you can fly it easily. You'll be bursting with charm. From the 818 red packets, 
Lin Fan received a total of 780,922 yuan, professional swimming experience, and professor-level aircraft piloting skills. He did not mind the 780,000 in cash, but he was very satisfied with the two new skills he had obtained. He mumbled, and the five silver-red packets. Forget it. I'll wait for the National Mathematical Modeling Competition mission to be completed before opening all of them together. Lin Fan slept until two o'clock, then he slowly walked toward the lecture hall. At this moment, everyone in the lecture hall was doing their best to calculate and design. Lin Fan returned to his seat and sipped some tea. Then, he bent over his desk and started writing. In the blink of an eye, the sky gradually darkened. The lecture hall was still brightly lit. The typing sounds were endless. It was obvious that many of them did not plan to go back to rest at night and would stay in the lecture hall all night. Lin Fan, on the other hand, went back to the dormitory with Xia Bing and Xia Xue to rest when it was time. The second day was similar to the first day. When Lin Fan was about to go back to his dormitory to rest, the white-haired professor finally could not help but walk over and say, Student, tomorrow is the last day of the competition. Aren't you going to hurry up and answer the question? Yeah. Lin Fan nodded. Then, he walked out of the lecture hall. The old professor was speechless. Yeah? But he left just like that? In the blink of an eye, it was the third day. The National Mathematical Modeling Competition was an open exam. As long as the students were not noisy in the classroom, did not talk to each other, and did not disturb the order of the competition, they could do anything. Hence, the invigilators and professor's work was very simple. At this time, only one professor was sitting in the lecture hall, reading the newspaper out of boredom. The other two professors stood in the corridor, drinking tea and taking a breather. One of the younger professors asked, Professor Zhao, do you know which student is the Lin Fan that Zhang Yong was talking about? The old professor next to him pointed at Lin Fan, who was sitting in the middle of the lecture hall, and said, There, that's Lin Fan. It's him? The young professor said in surprise, I noticed that he hasn't been in a hurry to answer the question these few days. Not in a hurry. He eats and sleeps on time. He doesn't act like he's participating in the National Mathematical Modeling Competition at all. It's more like he's just taking a look at things here. He doesn't have the willingness to suffer at all, the old professor said in a disappointed tone. The old professor continued, even a normal professor wouldn't be able to solve these mathematical modeling problems in such a short time. After today's competition, I think he might not even be done with his thesis. The young professor nodded in agreement and said, It's a pity. As the sun set, the competition finally came to an end. Ding, ding. After an urgent ringing of the bell, the old professor stood on the podium and said, Everyone, please rise. Stop answering the questions. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified. Some people wanted to modify their model and polish their thesis. However, after hearing the old professor's words, they could only stand up reluctantly. Lin Fan saw that Xia Bing and Xia Xue were still staring at the computer screens as if they were worried about the model. Don't worry, it's already perfect, Lin Fan said. After Xia Bing and Xia Xue heard this, it was as if they had received the best reward. Their two pretty faces were filled with joy and looked extremely sweet. Lin Fan looked at the two of them who were so happy that they could not even make a sound. His heart skipped a beat. He spent 20 million and bought two bottles of medical water from the system. When you guys go back to the dormitory later, drink this? Xia Bing and Xia Xue did not ask what it was. They hugged the medical water tightly in their arms like it was a treasure. Just like that, they returned to room 502 of the girls' dormitory with the medical water. After that, Xia Bing and Xia Xue did not hesitate at all and directly opened the bottle of medical water and poured the contents into their mouths. In their hearts, as long as Lin Fan asked them to do something, they would definitely listen to him. At this moment, light footsteps could be heard from outside. An oval-faced roommate strolled in. After she saw Xia Bing and Xia Xue, she asked, You guys are back? How did the mathematical modeling competition go? Then, without waiting for a reply, she sat on the bed and put on her headphones to listen to music. That was because she knew that Xia Bing and Xia Xue could not speak at all. She had just asked casually. Xia Bing and Xia Xue still insisted on gesturing, indicating that they had done well in the competition. After a while, 
The oval-faced girl seemed to find it a little stuffy in the dormitory, so she got up and opened the window. Whoosh! Suddenly, a strong gust of wind mixed with pollen whistled in. Ashu! Xia Bing and Xia Xue could not help but sneeze at the same time. Then, they seemed to realize something and slowly opened their mouths. Ah! Instantly, incomparably clear sounds came out from their throats. The two of them looked at each other, their faces filled with disbelief. Then, as if they had thought of something, their eyes fell on the medical water in their hands. Zhangbei University, Room 104 of the Male Dormitory. Song Yi, Zhang Jinbao, and Ma Zhong's eyes were all bloodshot, and they lay on the bed with tired faces. When they were in the lecture hall and saw the mathematical modeling competition questions, they were dumbfounded. If this were an individual competition, Song Yi and Zhang Jinbao would definitely have handed in blank papers. It was too difficult. Hence, it would be an easy choice for them. They would just choose not to do it. However, the mathematical modeling competition had them compete in groups of three. Their teammates would not be allowed to hand in blank papers. Helplessly, Song Yi and Zheng Jinbao had to work with their teammates to complete the task. After spending a lot of time looking up information, they finally had a slight idea. For the past three days, almost all of them had not slept or rested. They had been calculating and designing madly, and they had almost collapsed from exhaustion. Which question did your team choose? Song Yi asked. The third question, design a parking lot. Ma Zhong replied. We also chose this question. My teammate said that this question was the easiest, but it was still so complicated, Song Yi said. As he said this, Song Yi seemed to think of the three days of crazy research and calculation. He could not help but sigh. Zheng Jinbao picked his nose and said, The third question is the easiest? Shouldn't the second question about designing a drainage system be the easiest? The second question is the most difficult one. The drainage system involves many aspects such as terrain, pressure, soil quality, materials, and so on, said Ma Zhong. If it's simple, there wouldn't be so many cities in our country that face issues with flooding. Once it rains, the roads in the cities will all be flooded. Zhang Jinbao blinked his small eyes and suddenly felt that it seemed to make some sense. In addition, Ma Zhong was one of the top students in the class. Generally speaking, he would not make a mistake. Zhang Jinbao could not help but think of his two teammates' performance over the past three days. They kept saying that the question was very difficult. Moreover, they had even asked several times whether they should change the question. However, he rejected them by saying that the other questions were more difficult. If they found out that designing the drainage system was really the most difficult question out of them all, would he hit himself? When Zheng Jinbao thought of this, he could not help but wrap his small quilt tightly around him. Brother Lin Fan, which question did you choose? Ma Zhong asked. I chose the same as Jean Bao, the second question, Lin Fan said. Originally, Ma Zhong wanted to ask if Lin Fan did not really work on any questions for the past three days. After all, he ate and slept normally. However, after hearing Lin Fan's words, Ma Zhong did not ask any further. In his opinion, the reason why Lin Fan did not try to solve the questions was that he thought that the questions were too difficult, so he chose to give up. When Zheng Jinbao heard Lin Fan's reply, he wrapped his blanket even tighter around himself. The second question was indeed very difficult. Obviously, Zheng Jinbao's thoughts were similar to Ma Zhong's. Ring, Rin. At that moment, the phone in Lin Fan's pocket rang. He looked at the screen and was surprised. That was because he realized that it was a call from Xia Bing via WeChat. Lin Fan's heart skipped a beat as he pressed the answer button. The phone was very quiet. In fact, Lin Fan could faintly hear two hurried breathing sounds. After a while, Lin Fan took the initiative to speak. Xia Bing, Xia Xue, you two should be able to speak now, right? Yes, yes. Two very clear and sweet voices came from the phone. They sounded like the sound of spring water flowing and were extremely pleasant to the ear. Lin Fan's face revealed a look of enjoyment as he praised, What nice voices! After a while, weak voices came from the phone. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. You must be tired from the competition, right? Lin Fan smiled. Have a good rest? No, we're not tired. Pleasant voices quickly came from the phone again. You, you too have a good rest. After hanging up the phone, 
Xiaobing and Xiaoshui were still hugging the phone tightly. Their entire faces were like ripe tomatoes, red. After a long time, they made another WeChat call. Not long after, there was a light-hearted voice on the phone. Girls, why did you call me? Are you going to do Morse code? The beautiful young lady Yin said with a smile. When Yin saw the incoming call, she was a little surprised. She could not understand why Xiaobing and Xiaoshui would call her. In the past, there had never been such a situation. Therefore, she made a casual joke. Mom, mom, Xiaobing and Xiaoshui said. F asterisk CK. The person on the phone was stunned for a moment. After that, extremely shocked yells were heard. Then, the person on the phone shouted again. You guys can talk now? That's right, Xiaobing and Xiaoshui said. Good. Yin exclaimed happily. Ha ha ha. Your voices are very nice. As expected of my daughters, no, little sisters. Remember to call me sister. Don't call me mom. My sisters are so sensible. They called me the moment they could speak. Not bad, said Yin, pleased. We called Lin Fan first, Xiaobing and Xiaoshui said. The beautiful young lady Yin was speechless. Fengshang District, Qing City. The middle-aged woman looked at her daughter's carefully dressed appearance and nodded repeatedly. Xiqin is so beautiful, she continued. We can't let that Wang Xiaodong marry her so easily. The middle-aged man beside her nodded in agreement. Don't worry, I've already talked to third brother, Big Ming, and the others. They'll block the gate. Third brother is now the security captain of Inshan Mall, and Big Ming is a detective. With them blocking the door, Wang Xiaodong won't be able to marry Si Qin so easily. The middle-aged woman thought for a moment and said, Third brother and the others aren't enough. Si Qin, don't you have a few best friends? Call all of them over. The more people blocking the door, the better. Do we have to call so many people over? Gong Si Qin said hesitantly. Of course. The middle-aged woman immediately replied. Wang Xiaodong has no money and no power. If he marries you so easily, won't he think you're cheap? Actually, Xiaodong's not bad. He's quite motivated, Gong Xiqin said. Although Gong Xiqin often reprimanded Wang Xiaodong, he was the husband she had chosen, and she did not want to be belittled too much. The middle-aged woman sighed and said, Silly daughter, this isn't anything difficult. We're just letting Wang Xiaodong understand how hard it is to marry you. That way, in the future, he'll cherish you even more. In addition, we're only arranging for some people to block the gate. If Wang Xiaodong is really capable, he can just ask some powerful people to open the gate and fetch the bride. If he can't do that, then he should spend more time to self-reflect. Hearing her mother's words, Gong Xiqin pondered for a moment before nodding. The next day, the sun was shining brightly. Since it was Saturday, there were no classes. In addition, the mathematical modeling competition ended yesterday. Therefore, Ma Zhong, Zhang Jinbao, and Song Yi were still lying in bed without any movement. They did not have any intention of getting up. As for Lin Fan, he picked up the phone beside his pillow and took a look. An eye-catching text message notification had already appeared on the screen. Notice from China Merchant Bank, 141,200 yuan was deposited into your account at 12 p.m. For the past three days, the red packets that Lin Fan opened at noon were all cash. In addition to the cash earned from breathing, walking, and sleeping, Lin Fan earned a total of 4.4 million in three days. Even though the purchase of two bottles of medical water cost 20 million, Lin Fan still had 142.6 million yuan. After Lin Fan had his breakfast, he drove the Mercedes Benz G Class and headed straight to Qing City. Last week, he had promised Wang Xiaodong that he would attend the wedding if he had time. Wang Xiaodong was Lin Fan's deskmate in junior high. Back then, Lin Fan's family was poor, and he could not even afford an exercise book or a ballpoint pen. Wang Xiaodong often gave Lin Fan some, and Lin Fan remembered this. Now, Wang Xiaodong was getting married. Lin Fan did not have much to do this weekend. Furthermore, he could visit his parents and sister when he returned to Qing City. It was killing two birds with one stone. After about an hour, Lin Fan arrived home. Ever since Lin Tao and Dai Weishue had taken the medical water, their physical conditions had improved significantly. It was as if they had become 10 years younger and were full of energy. At noon, they even ate two big bowls of rice each. In the afternoon, 
Lin Fan accompanied them to watch television and chat. He would laugh from time to time. He was extremely relaxed. Creak. Creak. At this moment, the door was pushed open. Lin Xiaoya walked in with her school back. She looked at Lin Fan and was surprised. Brother, when did you come back? After she finished speaking, she immediately pounced into Lin Fan's embrace. I've only been back for a while. Lin Fan pinched Lin Xiaoyao's face. You've slimmed down. Hurry up and eat more. Lin Xiaoyao shouted, Dad, Mom, look, he's teasing me again. Your brother is right. You need to eat more, Dai Weishua said. Lin Fan looked at Lin Xiaoyao's defeated expression and could not help but want to laugh. Why are you so early today? Don't you have to go to the evening self-study session? Lin Fan understood the situation at Qing City's number one high school. Generally speaking, there was no need for evening self-study sessions on Sundays. It's the monthly test today, Lin Xiaoyao said, so I won't be attending the evening self-study session. Lin Fan nodded his head. Brother, take me out again today, Lin Xiaoyao said excitedly. Sure, where do you want to go? Lin Fan asked. In Mountain Shopping Center, Lin Xiaoyao said directly. Ever since Lin Xiaoyao found out that Lin Fan was the biggest shareholder of Inshan Mall, she had been looking forward to shopping with him again. That was because, in her eyes, she was not shopping at all but shopping at her own home. Unfortunately, Lin Fan had not returned for the past few days. He did come back last week, but left after lunch. This time, he had finally returned, so Lin Xiaoyao naturally had to seize the opportunity. Lin Fan pinched Lin Xiaoyao's face and smiled. All right. Let's go to Inshan Mall, then. When Lin Xiaoyao got into the Mercedes-Benz G-Class, her bright eyes could not help but look around. She had seen this Mercedes-Benz G-Class last time, but she did not have the chance to ride in it. This time, she was going to enjoy it. At the traffic light, Lin Xiaoyao looked at the car waiting at the side and said excitedly, Brother, our car is so tall. Lin Fan just smiled and nodded. Boom! When the green light came on, Lin Fan stepped on the accelerator and sped forward. Soon, they arrived at Inshan Mall. Nothing unexpected happened during the shopping trip, and Lin Xiaoyao quickly bought a few pieces of clothing. At that moment, Lin Fan stopped in his tracks and looked at a store not far away. Lin Fan's heart skipped a beat as he walked over. Big brother, why are we going to a jewelry store? Lin Xiaoyao asked. Let's see if there's anything suitable for you and our parents. I also need to buy a wedding gift for my classmate tomorrow, Lin Fan said. All right. Lin Xiaoyao's beautiful eyes immediately lit up when she heard that he was going to buy her something. However, when she leaned against the glass counter and saw the shocking prices, she shouted again, Brother, the things here are so expensive. Let's go to another store. Lin Xiaoyao had shopped in jewelry stores with her friends before, so she had some understanding of the prices. However, the price of the jewelry in front of her was several times higher than that of other shops, maybe even ten times higher. Lin Xiaoyao knew that her brother had a sports car and a Mercedes-Benz and was very rich. He had also said that he could let her spend his money. However, Lin Xiaoyao was definitely not someone who would spend money recklessly. At this moment, a shop assistant of medium build smiled and said, Every piece of jewelry from Bulgari is made from the best materials and then designed by a famous designer. So, the price is indeed more expensive than the average jewelry. But our style is fashionable, cutting edge, and the quality is excellent. In this aspect, we're far superior to ordinary jewelry. Lin Fan pointed at a necklace in a glass cabinet not far away and said, Lil Yao, what do you think of this necklace? Lin Xiaoyao looked in the direction he was pointing. She only saw. The necklace was exquisite and novel especially the crescent-shaped pendant that was blooming with a brilliant light. It made her eyes light up. The shop assistant took out the necklace and introduced it. This necklace is called Moon Princess. It's the work of famous designer John Ryan from Japan. The chain is made of 99 platinum. It's dynamic, fashionable, and extremely strong. It doesn't break easily. The pendant of the necklace looks like a beautiful princess sitting on the moon from a distance. This piece is full of dreamy colors. At the same time, the princess is surrounded by four diamonds, which symbolize the lucky four-leaf clover, meaning that it'll bring the princess endless good luck. As the sales assistant introduced the item to them and Lin Xiaoyao observed the pendant up close, 
Her eyes shone even brighter. Whether it was the shape, the symbol, or the meaning, she loved this necklace so much. It could almost be said to be perfect. Naturally, Lin Fan saw everything. He smiled and nodded. Okay, then wrap this necklace up. Then, Lin Fan asked the shop assistant to take out a jade bracelet, a lighter embedded with gems, and a pair of pure gold lovebirds. He took out a bank card. Beep. With a soft sound, the payment was successful. Lin Fan saw that Lin Xiaoyao was still staring at the necklace and could not help but smile. Put it on and let me see. All right. Lin Xiaoyao said excitedly. She looked at Moon Princess, which she was wearing around her neck, and her eyes lit up. Her pretty face was full of excitement. Lin Xiaoyao took a selfie with her phone and asked, How much is this necklace? 188,888 yuan, the sales assistant said. Crash. Lin Xiaoyao did not hold her phone properly, and it fell to the ground. Lin Xiaoyao's throat was dry, and she asked, What did you just say? How much is it? The Moon Princess is 188,888 yuan. The Sapphire Lighter is 48,888 yuan. The Jade Bracelet is 46,666 yuan. And the Pure Gold Pair of Lovebirds is 36,666 yuan. The shop assistant immediately listed out all the prices. Lin Xiaoyao did not hear the prices after that. However, she heard the price of her necklace clearly. 188,888 yuan. Lin Xiaoyao had never seen so much money in her life. If they were all exchanged for 100 yuan bills, they would probably pile up to the height of her head. In other words, she was not wearing a necklace at all. Instead, she was carrying around a nearly endless stack of cash. Lin Xiaoyao quickly took off the necklace and said, Brother, it's too expensive. I don't want it. Lin Fan looked at how anxious she was and smiled. You're too late. I've already paid. Huh, what do we do now? As Lin Xiaoyao spoke, she could not help but glance at the sales assistant. It was obvious that she was asking if she could return it. Lin Fan pinched Lin Xiaoyao's face and smiled. All right, there's no need to have it returned. You can wear it with ease. Have you forgotten that the entire Inshan Mall belongs to me? Getting my family some gifts don't mean anything. Lin Xiaoyao gradually gave up on the idea of returning it and said, Brother, if I wear this outside, will it get snatched? After she finished speaking, she did not forget to look around. It was as if someone would jump out and snatch the necklace at any time. Lin Fan smiled. Then why don't you put it on and stuff it into your clothes? Yes, yes. Lin Xiaoyao put it on again and held it tightly in her arms. Then, Lin Fan and Lin Xiaoyao slowly walked toward the car park. At that moment, Gong Leki, the security guard who had just been appointed, saw Lin Fan when he was patrolling the mall. At first glance, Gong Leki felt that he looked familiar. Then, he took out his mobile phone and compared the photos. The next moment, Gong Leki's eyes widened, and he immediately straightened his back like a patrolling soldier saluting his officer with his eyes. It was no wonder he was acting like this. That was because the previous head of security was fired because of Lin Fan. That was why Gong Leki had the chance to become the new security captain. That was a bloody lesson. Gong Leki did not want to be dismissed because of this. Gong Leki only relaxed after Lin Fan was far away. He hesitated for a moment, but still made a call. Zhou Changjun was the general manager of Inshan Mall in Qing City. At this moment, he was outside discussing a collaboration with someone. Ring, ring. At this moment, the phone in Zhou Chengjun's pocket rang. Zhou Chengjun frowned slightly. He hated to be disturbed when he was working. Zhou Chengjun first turned to the middle-aged man sitting opposite him and said, I'm sorry, I'll have to take this call. After pressing the answer button, he said in a slightly displeased tone, Captain Gong. What's the matter? Gong Leki could also tell that Zhou Chengjun was not very happy, so he did not dare to beat about the bush and said, Manager Zhou, I think I saw that young Mr. Lin from last time. He came to our Inshan Mall to shop again. The young Mr. Lin? Zhou Chengjun was slightly puzzled at first. Then, with a whoosh, he stood up. Is it that Mr. Lin from the week before last? Zhou Chengjun asked anxiously. Yes, it is. Gong Leki said. Zhou Chengjun said excitedly, Great. Good call. I'll be right over. After hanging up the phone, 
Zhou Chengjun quickly said to the middle-aged man opposite him. I'm sorry, I have something urgent to deal with at the mall. We'll talk about the cooperation in detail next time. Although cooperation was important, how could it be more important than meeting Mr. Lin, even if it was just a simple meeting? After Zhou Chengjun finished speaking, he quickly walked outside. Only the middle-aged man sitting opposite him was left mumbling, Mr. Lin? Who in Qing City can make Zhou Chengjun so concerned about him? Could it be someone from another place? Zhou Chengjun was not far from Inshan Mall. Unfortunately, his speed was still a beat slower than Lin Fan's. Mr. Lin just drove off in his Mercedes-Benz G-Class car, Gong Lecky said. I see, Zhou Chengjun said helplessly. Then, he patted Gong Lecky's shoulder and said, Captain Gong, you've done well. If you see Mr. Lin again, let me know immediately. Will do. Gong Lecky said excitedly. After Lin Fan returned home, he gave the sapphire lighter and bracelet to his parents. Lin Tao's entire face almost bloomed into a flower as he said, this lighter is so nice. I've never seen such a nice lighter before. It's so comfortable to hold. Of course, Dad, Lin Xiaoyao said. Your lighter costs 48,888 yuan. What? How much is it? Lin Tao exclaimed in surprise. 48,888? Dai Weishue, who was playing with the bracelet, was also extremely surprised. Then what about my bracelet? 46,666, Lin Xiaoyao said. Lil Fan, why did you buy us such expensive things? Dai Wing Su Chai did. It won't be good if I fall and break it. Quickly take it back and return it. Dai Wei Xue had been thrifty her entire life. When she got married, she only bought a bronze ring. As for necklaces, she did not own a single one. Now, she suddenly had a bracelet that was worth tens of thousands of yuan. She could not accept it. I've already bought it, so how can I return it? Lin Fan smiled and said, This is just a small item. Mom, don't worry and wear it well. In the future, I'll buy you better ones. Lin Tao touched his lighter and said, The child is filial to us, so we should happily accept his gifts. It was obvious that he really liked this lighter. However, Lin Tao quickly noticed that Dai Weishue was glaring at him. Therefore, he coughed twice and said, Lil Fan, we know that you're very successful now, but don't waste your money. Dai Weishue said, we'd definitely be happier if you spent this money on girls. Lil Fan, you're doing well in your career now. When are you going to bring a girl back for us to see? Lin Fan could not help but think of Qin Yuxuan, Xia Bing, Xia Xue, Chiu Qiqian, and the others. There will be opportunities in the future, he said after a long while. The time spent together as a family would always pass very quickly. In the blink of an eye, it was late at night. Lin Fan lay on his bed and looked at his phone screen. You've spent 320,000 yuan and received 32 red packets. Do you want to collect all of them? This was what he had gotten after buying the jewelry and accessories today. Yes. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 10 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 5 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 50,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've obtained professional go skills. Lin Fan received a total of 173,200 yuan from the 32 red packets. He had spent 320,000 yuan and got back 170,000 yuan. It was almost a 50% discount. Not bad. Of course, Lin Fan did not mind at all. He immediately placed his attention on his professional go skills. Professional go skills. You have go skills that far exceed that of ordinary people, and you can defeat your opponent with ingenious and exquisite skills. You can display a special charm. Lin Fan touched his chin and muttered, Go? That's quite interesting. The next day, Lin Fan drove his Mercedes-Benz G-Class to the E family's neighborhood early in the morning. At this time, there were six shiny Mercedes-Benz cars parked neatly at the entrance of the community. Obviously, these were all wedding cars. Today, Wang Xiaodong was wearing a black suit, and his hair was neatly combed. He looked at the Mercedes wedding car in front of him and nodded slightly. When he turned around, he saw Mercedes-Benz driving over from a distance. Then, the window of the Mercedes-Benz slowly rolled down. Lin Fan smiled and said, Xiaodong, I'm not late, am I? Congratulations on your wedding. 
After saying that, Lin Fan got out of the car and handed over the pure gold lovebirds and a red packet. Wang Xiaodong was a little surprised and said, No, you're not late. We're preparing to pick up the bride. Thank you. In fact, when Wang Xiaodong met Lin Fan last week, he roughly told him the wedding time and address. After that, they did not talk anymore. Wang Xiaodong and Lin Fan only had a good relationship in junior high. After that, they did not keep in touch. The last time they suddenly met, he asked Lin Fan to attend the wedding and bring gifts. Wang Xiaodong was embarrassed. Even if Lin Fan did not come, Wang Xiaodong would definitely not have blamed him. Lin Fan naturally understood Wang Xiaodong's thoughts. He patted Wang Xiaodong's shoulder and smiled, as expected of a groom. He's almost as handsome as me. Wang Xiaodong burst out laughing after hearing Lin Fan's words. The atmosphere instantly became much more relaxed. They seemed to have returned to their middle school days. At this moment, a man holding flowers, ribbons, and other things strode over. When he saw Lin Fan's Mercedes-Benz G-Class car, his eyes lit up. F asterisk CK, a Mercedes-Benz G-Class. You're using this car as one of the wedding cars? Isn't that too cool? It's not this one. Wang Xiaodong quickly explained. Just use my car. It's just sitting here, Lin Fan said. What? Can I? Wang Xiaodong hesitated. Of course you can, Lin Fan said. Lin Fan, thank you, Wang Xiaodong said. In fact, Wang Xiaodong's eyes had lit up when he first saw the Mercedes-Benz G-Class car. The Mercedes-Benz G-Class car was one of his favorite cars. If he could use this car as his wedding car, he would naturally be very happy. However, Wang Xiaodong was already embarrassed that Lin Fan, a friend who had not been in contact with him for many years, was able to attend the wedding. He really could not make the request to ask Lin Fan to lend him his car for a day. What's there to thank me for? Lin Fan smiled. Very quickly, Lin Fan's Mercedes-Benz G-Class car was decorated. When the auspicious time arrived, Lin Fan acted as the driver and drove the Mercedes-Benz G-Class toward the bride's location. Although it was a Sunday, there were still many cars on the road. While Lin Fan was waiting at the traffic light, Zhou Chengjun's Mercedes-Benz E300 was parked at the side. Zhou Chengjun looked at the row of Mercedes-Benz wedding cars and muttered, It seems. Today is another good day. When his gaze shifted to the Mercedes-Benz G-Class, especially to Lin Fan in the driver's seat, his face showed a touch of excitement. Mr. Lin? Mercedes-Benz G-Lass. That's right. It's Mr. Lin. He opened his mouth and wanted to say hello. At this moment, the red light turned green. Lin Fan stepped on the accelerator and sped forward. Originally, Zhou Changjun was going to talk about cooperation with someone today. However, now, he changed his direction and followed Lin Fan closely. On the other hand, in Fengshang District, two young men were already standing in front of the gate. The shorter young man said, Is the bride escort coming soon? It should be soon. Uncle Gong told us to make things difficult for the groom in case he thinks it's too easy to marry Sister Si Chin. However, I'm worried that it'll be a little difficult with just the two of us, the round-faced young man said. Don't worry, you still have me. A loud and clear voice came from behind. When the two of them heard this, their faces immediately revealed a touch of joy, and they shouted in unison, Brother Daming, hee hee, since Brother Daming is here, there's nothing to worry about, the shorter young man said. That's right. Brother Daming is the captain of our Qing City investigation team. If he were to stand here, he'd be able to block even a dozen bandits, the round-faced young man said. In fact, Wang Daming was not the captain of Qing City's investigation team. He was just a team leader. However, he did not explain anything. He just listened to their praise and felt smug about it. Wang Daming smiled and waved his hand. I'm not that powerful. I usually just catch a few petty thieves. However, it's impossible for the groom to marry Si Qin so easily today. The two young men gave him a thumbs up and said, Brother Daming, you're indeed worthy of your name. Brother Daming, have a cigarette? I'll light a fire for Brother Daming. Wang Daming took the cigarette with a smile and took a deep puff, his face full of enjoyment. Beep. At this time, a loud horn sounded in the distance. Wang Daming's and the other two's expressions changed, and they quickly threw the cigarette butts into the trash can. As soon as they were done, 
several Mercedes-Benz cars appeared in their field of vision. The car in the lead was a Mercedes-Benz G-Class car with decorations on it. The groom is here. The bridal convoy obviously knew the rules. When they saw the three people standing in front of the gate of the community, they parked their cars one after another. Then, Lin Fan, Wang Xiaodong, and the others slowly got out of the cars. It was also at this time, Wang Daming, who was originally blocking the gate of the community, immediately stepped aside. No. Not only did Wang Daming give in, but he also pulled the other two young people and retreated to the side. Then, like a soldier meeting his leader, he straightened his back and saluted. The two young men were a little dumbfounded. This. What was going on? Did Brother Daming not just say that he could not let the groom marry Si Chin easily? Did he not say he was going to make things difficult for the groom? Why did he suddenly retreat to the side? He even pulled the two of them aside. Were they really blocking the door? It looked more like they were here to pick up a relative. There was a custom in Qing City. When a couple got married, the bride would let some capable people with status act as gatekeepers and make things difficult for the groom in all ways. In this way, the groom would know that marriage was not easy and he would cherish his wife more. The man could find people with strong abilities and high status to act as escorts, thus reducing the difficulty. The reason why Wang Daming suddenly stepped aside was that he saw Lin Fan. This was the third time Wang Daming had met Lin Fan. The first time was at the Central Hospital of Qing City. That day, when the leader of Qing City visited the Central Hospital, Wang Daming acted as a guard to protect the leader. At that time, the leader of Qing City was extremely close to Lin Fan. He even took the initiative to visit Lin Fan's father at the hospital the next day. The second time was at Inshan Mall. At that time, Wang Daming received a call from the police and realized that Lin Fan was almost beaten up by a group of security guards. Wang Daming's colleagues kept asking him to catch Lin Fan. Wang Daming was almost scared to death. Later, when the head captain found out about the incident, he immediately dealt with the related personnel strictly. Even Wang Daming himself was criticized. Today was the third time they had met. In Qing City, the higher the status of the escorts, the less difficult it would be. This meant that the bride would marry better. For someone like Lin Fan, who even the higher-ups had to treat as an equal and even please, how could they make things difficult for him? Absolutely not. The groom, Wang Xiaodong, naturally did not know the reason. However, when he saw that the people blocking the door had left, he was happy to relax and walked straight inside. At the same time, loud firecrackers were set off in the neighborhood. The middle-aged man standing in front of the building frowned and said, What's wrong with Wang Daming? He let the groom in so quickly. With a cigarette in his mouth, Gong Lecky pouted and said, Is he really the captain of the investigation team? He's so useless. The middle-aged man next to him said, Wang Daming is a young man after all. Third brother, you're now the security captain of Inshan Mall. You have experience in blocking people. I'll still have to rely on you to block the door later and make things difficult for the groom. If it's too easy for the groom to get upstairs, he'll probably think that Si Chin is easy to marry. Gong Lecky patted his chest and said, Leave it to me. Normally, I'd be able to stop a dozen security guards without any problem. Today, I'll definitely give the groom an unforgettable wedding. The middle-aged man nodded in relief. Soon, a large group of people arrived in front of the building. When Gong Lecky saw the groom, Wang Xiaodong, walking in the front, he was quite relaxed. However, when he caught sight of Lin Fan, his eyes narrowed. It was him, the mysterious Mr. Lin who was the largest shareholder of Inshan Mall. At this moment, the middle-aged man reminded him, they're here. Then, he was pulled by Gong Lecky from the entrance of the building to the side. The middle-aged man looked at Gong Lecky in a daze. What was going on? Didn't you just say that I can leave this to you? Didn't you say that you'll handle it? However, he was letting the groom and the rest enter immediately. This was the wedding process that would definitely be unforgettable for the groom. Was this how it was done? Oh, right. It was unforgettable because it was too simple and too easy. The groom, Wang Xiaodong, still did not understand what was going on. However, he did not stop walking through the door. It was a very good thing to get married easily. The middle-aged man did not react until the groom, Wang Xiaodong, and the others had gone upstairs. He shouted in a low voice, 
third brother. Didn't you want to make things difficult for them? What's wrong with you? Why did you pull me to the side? Now, they're going up directly. Make things difficult for them? Make things difficult for Lin Fan? How is that possible? Gong Leki did not reply immediately. He just looked at Lin Fan's disappearing back and muttered, Si Qin has found a good husband. Although Wang Xiaodong's condition was still not good for the time being, to Gong Leki, since he had a friend like Lin Fan, he would definitely do well in the future. In the living room, Gong Xiqin's mother was pacing back and forth, looking a little nervous. Gong Xiqin's father took a sip of tea and said with a smile, Relax. Wang Xiaodong has just arrived in the community. He'll be troubled by third brother and daming for at least an hour. Why are you so nervous now? As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Xiaodong and a large group of people walked in quickly. Seeing this, Gong Xiqin's parents were both stunned. What was going on? Did Wang Xiaodong not just arrive at the neighborhood? Why did he come upstairs so quickly? Even if he were to walk normally, it would probably take more time to walk from the entrance of the community to their home. Did third brother and Daming not stop them? Wang Xiaodong did not care so much. He greeted Gong Xiqin's parents with a smile and walked straight to the door. At this moment, in the room, Gong Xiqin and her best friend, Huang Zifei, had also noticed the commotion outside. Huang Zifei said disdainfully, Aren't the people blocking the door in front too weak? They let Wang Xiaodong come up so quickly. Sichin, don't worry, she said after a pause. I'll guard your home. I'm a nurse at the central hospital of Qing City. I have to deal with the hospital fees of countless patients every day. I'll be the last person to block the door. I'll make sure that Wang Xiaodong won't marry you so easily. Huang Zifei slowly walked toward the door. At the same time, she turned on the surveillance camera that had been installed earlier to observe the situation outside. Huang Zifei's gaze swept across Wang Xiaodong and the others. When she saw Lin Fan, her relaxed face immediately showed an unconcealed shock. It was him, the family member of the patient staying in the VIP ward. Not long ago, Huang Zifei had been assigned to take care of a special care patient, Lin Tao. Huang Zifei clearly remembered how polite the director had been to the patient's son, Lin Fan. At that time, Huang Zifei understood that Lin Fan was a big shot. Therefore, when she was taking care of Lin Tao, she was especially attentive. Later on, when Lin Fan conversed with the director, he casually mentioned that she had taken good care of his father. After that, Huang Zifei was publicly praised by the hospital. Huang Zifei did not expect to meet Lin Fan here. Furthermore, he was one of the people picking the bride up. Did she still have to make it difficult for him? How is that possible? Huang Zifei did not hesitate at all. She opened the door and respectfully retreated to the side. Gong Qin, who was sitting in front of the dressing table, was dumbfounded. What was going on? Huang Zifei, is this what you meant when you said that the people blocking the door were too weak? Is this what you meant by guarding the door of my home? Just like that, Gong Qin was carried out of the room by Wang Xiaodong with a confused face. In fact, Gong Xiqin was not the only one who was confused. Her parents, as well as most of the guests, were also dumbfounded. This did not seem to be the plan they came up with a few days ago. Wang Xiaodong had completed the marriage ceremony so easily? From the time he entered the neighborhood until now, had it been five minutes? Five minutes? This was probably. He was going to set a record for the fastest marriage in Qing City, right? Wang Xiaodong did not care so much. He walked to the side and silently poured hot water. He was ready to offer tea to Gong Xiqin's parents and complete the last step of the marriage ceremony. At this moment, a series of heavy footsteps came from the corridor. Then, Zhou Chengjun strode in. When he saw Lin Fan, he heaved a sigh of relief. He was afraid that Lin Fan had already left. After that, Zhou Chengjun smiled and said, I came uninvited. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I wish the couple a happy wedding. Most of the people present did not know Zhou Changjun, and some even thought that he had come to the wrong place. Therefore, they did not reply immediately. Gong Leki, who was standing in the crowd, said in surprise, General Manager Zhou, why are you here? Do you know him? Someone asked. Gong Leki did not reply. He walked up and said respectfully, Hello, General Manager Zhou. One had to know. Gong Leki was also a capable person in everyone's eyes. Not long ago, 
he became the security captain of Inshan Mall, and many people were envious of him. However, he was actually so respectful to the middle-aged man in front of him, General Manager Zhou. Everyone could not help but secretly guess his identity. I remember now, he's Zhou Chengjun, someone said quickly. Who's Zhou Chengjun? asked the person beside him. Are you still from Qing City? You don't even know that he's the general manager of Inshan Mall, someone else shouted. That's right, he's Zhou Chengjun. I've seen the news about him a few days ago, someone shouted. As soon as they said that, the scene immediately became lively. Inshan Mall was the largest shopping center in Qing City. The general manager of Inshan Mall was the boss of Inshan Mall. This kind of existence was definitely a big shot in everyone's eyes. Now, he had actually come to the scene. To them, it was as if a noble had suddenly come to the commoner's cave. How novel and exciting. Zhou Qingju nodded at Gong Leki, then walked to Lin Fan's side and said respectfully, Hello, Mr. Lin. Lin Fan said, That incident at Inshan Mall is already in the past. Don't take it to heart. Thank you, Mr. Lin. Zhou Chengjun quickly said, the stone in his heart finally fell. Last time, Lin Fan was almost beaten up by the security guards at Inshan Mall. Lin Fan had told Chairman Song Ji Feng that he had handled it well. However, Zhou Chengjun was still a little worried and scared. He wanted to look for Lin Fan and apologize once more. Therefore, when Gong Leki said that he had seen Lin Fan, he put down everything he was doing and rushed over. He followed them here today for the same reason. Now, after hearing Lin Fan's words, Zhou Chengjun understood that the matter was finally over. This is the groom, Wang Xiaodong. He's also my good friend, Lin Fan said. Zhou Chengjun quickly took out a gold bangle from his pocket and said, Mr. Wang, congratulations on your wedding. Ever since he saw Lin Fan at the traffic light, Zhou Chengjun had been following him. When he saw Lin Fan enter Fengshang District, Zhou Chengjun hurriedly turned around and went to the nearest jewelry store to buy the gold bracelet. That was why he was a few steps late. Wang Xiaodong quickly said, This. This is too valuable. This gold bangle was very thick and heavy. At first glance, it was probably worth tens of thousands of yuan. Wang Xiaodong and Zhou Chengjun had no relationship with each other at all. He did not dare to accept such a valuable gift. Xiaodong, just accept it. Lin Fan smiled. Otherwise, wouldn't General Manager Zhou have made a wasted trip? Zhou Qingjun also chimed in. That's right. Mr. Wang, please accept it. This is nothing. Wang Xiaodong hesitated for a while and finally put the gold bangle away. Zhou Qingjun thought for a while, then took out a business card from his pocket and said, Mr. Wang, we can keep in touch in the future. Wang Xiaodong was Lin Fan's good friend. It would not hurt to interact more with him. At this moment, there was the sound of footsteps outside the corridor. Then, Two men in suits and leather shoes, exuding an extraordinary aura, strode in. The man walking in front smiled and said, Congratulations to the newlyweds. May they have a happy wedding and be united forever. When everyone saw him, they frowned again. That was because they felt that this person was a little familiar. However, they were certain that they did not know who he was. At this time, Wang Daiming, who was standing in the crowd, blurted out, Leader Zhao. His words were like a bomb that exploded at the scene. Wang Daming's body could not help but shake. That's right. It's the big leader. I even saw him on the news yesterday. Oh my god. The big leader is actually here. Good day, leader. Everyone was going crazy. That was right. The person was the leader of Qing City, Zhao Jiechi. It had to be said that Zhao Jiechi was a busy and attentive leader. Even though it was a Sunday, he still went out to deal with some matters. On the way, Zhao Jiechi happened to see Lin Fan driving the wedding car. After thinking for a while, Zhao Jiechi made the same choice as Zhou Chengjun and followed closely behind. Thus, the scene in front of them appeared. Zhao Jiechi smiled at the crowd as a form of greeting. Then, just like Zhou Chengjun, he came to Lin Fan's side and said, Lil Bro Lin, long time no see. Yeah, it's been almost two weeks, Lin Fan said. Brother Zhao, this is the groom today and my good friend. Wang Xiaodong. Zhao Jiechi smiled and said, Mr. Wang, you're a man of striking appearance. I wish you a happy marriage and that you'll have a child soon. After he finished speaking, he handed out a red packet. 
Wang Xiaodong was completely dumbfounded by Zhao Jiuqi's arrival. He might keep in touch with Zhou Changjun from Inshan Group in the future. Now, the leader of Qing City, Zhao Jiuqi, was in existence at the top of the world. Under usual circumstances, he would never be able to see someone like him in his life. Now, he was actually attending his wedding? He even gave him a red packet? Wang Xiaodong was so excited that he did not know what to do. Xiaodong, hurry up and accept the red packet. Lin Fan laughed. Wang Xiaodong finally reacted and said, Thank you, thank you, leader. Even though the red packet was not thick and it was actually very thin, in Wang Xiaodong's hand, it was like a thousand pounds. This was a red packet personally given by the leader of Qing City. Everyone looked at Wang Xiaodong and the others with envy. Wang Xiaodong was already excited and nervous because of the leader's presence. At this moment, with so many people staring at him, he was even more at a loss. Lin Fan reminded him, Xiaodong, didn't you just pour some tea? Quickly, serve some tea to my in-laws. Yes, yes, Wang Xiaodong said. Then, he quickly picked up the teacups and walked to Gong Xichin's parents. Father-in-law, mother-in-law, please have some tea. When Gong Xichin's parents saw that Wang Xiaodong managed to pick up their daughter easily, they decided that they would make things difficult for Wang Xiaodong again during the tea drinking ceremony. No matter what, they had to let Wang Xiaodong understand how difficult it was to marry their daughter. However, at this moment, they had completely thrown these thoughts to the back of their minds. They took the slightly cold tea and poured it into their mouths. The two of them smiled and said, Good, our good son-in-law. Make things difficult for Wang Xiaodong? What a joke. The general manager of Inshan Mall and the leader of Qing City had personally come to give gifts. Wang Xiaodong was such a good son-in-law. They had to hold him tightly in their hands, so why would they make things difficult for him? What if Wang Xiaodong felt that it was too difficult to marry their daughter and decided not to marry her? What should they do then? Wang Xiaodong heaved a sigh of relief. Just like this, the marriage ceremony was completed. Wang Xiaodong turned around and said seriously, Lin Fan, thank you. I really don't know how to repay you. He knew very well that the general manager of Inshan Group and the leader of Qing City had come to give him gifts because of Lin Fan. As a result, he had become familiar with the leader of Qing City. Inshan Group's general manager even took the initiative to give him a business card. These, to him, they would definitely bring him endless benefits. In fact, the reason why today's wedding was so smooth was all because of Lin Fan's efforts. Xiaodong, why are you being so polite? Lin Fan smiled. When we were deskmates in junior high school, you often gave me ballpoint pins, exercise books, and even meal tickets. At that time, you didn't ask for anything in return, did you? Some ballpoint pins, exercise books, and meal tickets. Now, Lin Fan had returned the favor with something so huge. A drop of kindness would be repaid with a fountain. When some of the people around heard this, they silently thought to themselves, should I ask my children to give their deskmates some ballpoint pins and exercise books? The two young men standing beside Wang Daming whispered, Brother Daming, I finally understand why you pulled us aside just now. I'll have to get closer to Sichin's family in the future. Wang Daming muttered to himself. That's right. The two young men nodded. The middle-aged man beside Gong Leki said, Third brother, it's a good thing you pulled me to the side earlier. Sichin has found such a good husband. So why would we put the groom in a difficult position? They should hurry up and get married. Gong Leki nodded in agreement. These words seemed to have been heard by Gong Sichin's parents. They urged him, Good son-in-law, it's getting late. Hurry up and bring Sichin to your house. In the past, when parents married off their daughters, they would all wish that their daughters could stay at home for a while longer. Who would be like Gong Sichin's parents? It was simply, it was as if she would not be able to get married if she was one step slower. Wang Xiaodong nodded. Then, a large group of people headed toward the Yi family's estate. Lin Fan and Zhou Chengjun followed. Zhao Jiechi left immediately. After all, he was the leader of Qing City, and there were many things waiting for him to deal with. It was already very rare for him to be able to take some time out today to attend the wedding. At Wang Xiaodong's wedding, Lin Fan was arranged to sit at the head of the table. From time to time, people would toast to him, and the atmosphere was very cheerful. Lin Fan had the ability of drinking gentlemen. 
He could drink a thousand glasses without getting drunk. However, when one drank too much, it was inevitable that they would have to use the loo. When Lin Fan entered the washroom, his phone vibrated. 12 p.m. Red packets appeared. Ding. Congratulations, you have received 10,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 20 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 3 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've obtained professional Xiangqi skills. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 5 yuan. Today, Lin Fan received a total of 30,200 yuan and professional chess skills. Lin Fan chose to ignore the 30,200 yuan. He immediately turned his attention to his professional chess skills. Professional chess skills. Horse walking the sun. Elephant walking the field. Every chess move is played well. Unparalleled skills are displayed. And you'll show amazing charm. Lin Fan could not help but mumble. Yesterday, I received professional Go skills. And today, I received professional chess skills. Are you trying to make me an invincible chess player? Lin Fan shook his head and returned to the banquet. At this moment, there was already a large group of people standing at the side, waiting to give him a toast. Lin Fan was the same as before, not rejecting anyone. Everyone ate and drank together, and the wedding banquet finally came to an end. Most people would reek of alcohol for a long time after drinking. Their blood contained a high concentration of alcohol, which caused them to be delirious. However, Lin Fan had drinking gentlemen. He drank wine like he was drinking water. After the wine entered his stomach, it quickly broke down. There was no smell of alcohol on his body, and there was no alcohol in his blood. Thus, after the wedding, he drove straight home. Lin Fan spent the entire afternoon with his parents and sister. It was a very relaxed and warm time. Dai Weishua had specially prepared dinner earlier and told Lin Fan to go to Jiangbei early, in case it was too late and not safe on the road. Before he left, Lin Xiaoyao reminded him, Brother, the next time you come back, remember to send me a message in advance. All right, Lin Fan said. As soon as he finished speaking, he stepped on the accelerator and drove the Mercedes-Benz G-Class forward. About an hour later, Lin Fan arrived at Jiangbei. He did not go back to school but went straight to Iku City. Room 2501. This was the place that Lin Fan had given to Chiu Zichin a few days ago. Last time, Lin Fan clearly remembered that his house could only be considered clean and tidy. However, it was also very quiet and empty. At this moment, there were plants, flowers, and goldfish in the house. There were also beautiful calligraphy and paintings hanging on the wall. The air in the entire house was fresh, warm, and filled with the smell of home. Just then, Chiu Zichin slowly walked out of the room. Since she was at home, Chiu Zichin wore relatively little, only a white silk dress. It was because of this that her fiery, fair figure was displayed even more perfectly in front of Lin Fan. Absence made the heart grow fonder. Their eyes met, and as if attracted by a magnet, the two quickly embraced each other. Then, their figures could be seen on the sofa, balcony, and room. The entire house seemed to be shaking. About three hours later, things slowly calmed down. Cho Zichin was like a lazy kitten, lying in Lin Fan's arms. Creak, creak. At this moment, the door creaked. Then, a beautiful figure strolled in and said, Zichin, I'm here with the fish feed. When she saw Lin Fan and Cho Zichin hugging each other, she immediately let out a high-pitched scream. Huang Ling's face was as red as a tomato. Then, she quickly turned her head away. The sudden appearance of a person had Lin Fan extremely shocked and embarrassed. That's my roommate, Huang Ling, Chiu Zichin said with a smile. This place is too big, and I'm bored living alone, so I asked her to move in. Darling, you won't blame me, right? Lin Fan waved his hands. Of course not. It's a good thing to have someone with you. The two of them talked as they put on their clothes. Then, they walked into the living room. Chiu Zichin acted as if nothing had happened and poured Lin Fan a cup of tea. Huang Ling's face was still a little red. She raised her head and looked at Lin Fan. Then, she lowered her head like a shy little rabbit. Earlier, Lin Fan was indeed a little embarrassed. At this moment, he had recovered. He looked at Huang Ling's shy expression and found it interesting. He quietly sized her up. Like Chiu Zichin, 
Huang Ling's skin was very fair, and her figure was excellent. Her facial features were more three-dimensional, which were very pleasing to the eye. Lin Fan praised in his heart, There are indeed beauties beside a beauty. Lin Fan then used his eyes of truth to check her out. Face value, 95. Favorability, 75. Lin Fan was not too surprised by her face value of 95. However, a favorability of 75? She seemed to have a good impression of him. At this moment, Chiu Zichian, who was sitting next to him, introduced, Darling, this is my best friend, Huang Ling. Huang Ling, it's a nice name. Hello, I'm Lin Fan. Lin Fan introduced himself. At the same time, he extended his right hand toward her. Huang Ling stretched out her dainty hand and shook Lin Fan's hand gently. Her skin was smooth, and her fingers were slender. Lin Fan could not help but think of this. Chiu Zichian took advantage of her free time to go to the kitchen and cut some apples, watermelon, and honeydew. She put them onto a plate and served it in the living room. After being introduced to each other and eating some fruits, the atmosphere finally relaxed. Oh right, Zichian, how much money do you have left? Lin Fan asked. The house had changed a lot, so she had probably spent a lot of money on it. I bought a Mini Cooper this week. Then, I bought some furniture and cosmetics. I also transferred 200,000 yuan to my family. I still have 310,000 yuan on hand, Chiu Zichin said honestly. When Lin Fan heard this, he let out a weird expression. A Mini Cooper? A Mini Cooper again? Did that not mean that almost all the girls who were related to him had a Mini Cooper? Then, Lin Fan took out his phone and started working on it. Ding, ding. Chiu Zichian's phone vibrated. At the same time, her phone rang out. WeChat transfer, 1 million yuan. Chiu Zichian looked at the long row of zeros on her phone. She did not even care about Huang Ling, who was still sitting beside her. Her hot lips immediately landed on Lin Fan's body. Darling, thank you. There's no need for thanks between us, Lin Fan said with a smile. Huang Ling's beautiful eyes widened. What? He gave her one million just like that? Huang Ling had heard of some generous people, but she had never heard of anyone who would give one million yuan for two weeks straight. This. Did his family operate a money printing factory? It was nighttime. It was uncertain if it was because absence made the heart grow fonder, or if there were other reasons. But the entire bed was shaking more violently than before. Huang Ling, who was next door, could still hear the sounds even if she covered her ears. She tossed and turned all night, unable to fall asleep. The next day, Chiu Zichin woke up early and made a sumptuous breakfast. There were dumplings, noodles, poached eggs, fruit, milk, and everything else. Lin Fan ate to his heart's content, then headed straight to Jiangbei University. At this moment, Huang Ling finally dragged her tired body out slowly. You don't seem to have rested well? Chiu Zichian asked. You guys were so loud last night. How could I have had a good rest? Huang Ling said. Chiu Zichian was not embarrassed at all. Instead, she smiled. What do you think of Lin Fan? She asked. How was he? He was young, handsome, rich, and generous. He was simply. He was the perfect male god. Normally, as her best friend, Huang Ling should stop Chiu Zichian from dating Lin Fan. However, at this moment, Huang Ling had no intention of dissuading her. In fact, there was an inexplicable trace of envy in her heart, and also a trace of jealousy. It was very strange. Therefore, even though Huang Ling opened her mouth, she did not comment on Lin Fan right away. Chiu Zichian looked at Huang Ling's expression. How could she not know what she was thinking? She took Huang Ling's hand and asked, How about it? Do you want to follow Lin Fan? Huang Ling's face instantly turned red. She shook her head and said, No, no. This seemed to be within Chiu Zichian's expectations. She did not force it and said, Let's eat first. At this time, Lin Fan had already returned to Jiangbei University. Originally, he had a class with Tian Tian today, but she was temporarily transferred to evaluate the results of the mathematical modeling competition. Hence, an old professor replaced the teacher. The students, who were originally excited, were completely dispirited when they saw that the old professor was teaching. However, this was a good thing for Lin Fan. He was a little tired from last night. Now, 
Lin Fan was listening to the old professor's long-winded lecture. It was like a lullaby, bringing him directly into his dreams. Lin Fan had an extremely comfortable sleep. It was already noon when he woke up. As usual, Lin Fan went to the canteen to line up and eat. At this moment, his phone vibrated. 12 p.m. The red packets were here. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 3 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you have received 10 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 40,000 yuan. Ding. Congratulations, you've received 1 yuan. Today, Lin Fan only received 50,105 yuan and nothing else. In the afternoon, the old professor had another class. Lin Fan was welcomed by a lullaby once more and slept very soundly. When the school bell rang, Lin Fan finally woke up. At this moment, a beautiful figure appeared beside him. It's my birthday today. I'm planning to host a small party at home. Do you have time to come over? Lin Fan's face was filled with shock. He did not expect Song Jessin and Qin Yushuan's birthdays to be so close. What's the matter? Do you have any arrangements? Song Jessin saw that Lin Fan did not reply immediately and asked suspiciously. No, no, I'll definitely be there on time tonight, Lin Fan said. All right. I'll send you the address later. Song Jessin smiled. After she finished speaking, she slowly walked away. At this moment, Lin Fan felt as if he was being stared at by a pack of hungry wolves. He could not help but shiver and look around. He only saw. Song Yi, Zhang Jinbao, and Ma Zhong were looking at him with red eyes. We kneel to brother Lin Fan, they shouted in unison. 